Okay, fine. I'll read you your favorite story. I've got it right here in my pile of gifts. It's called, as you know, Twas the night that Ron Howard showed up at my house all unannounced. And it goes a little something like this. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the split level we share with a guy named Brian, a loud creature was stirring. My baby Grinch replica was crying. I lay on my bed in my shit bedroom gloom while the hollow rubber baby Grinch wailed from the other room. My tits are a leaking goo that makes baby Grinch grin. I can't sleep because the goo is hot and it burns off my skin. When out in the yard came a loud plaintive scream, so I rolled out of bed to see who was making the scream. I put on my t-shirt from a restaurant that recently started hanging thin blue line flags outside, fuck. And I went to the window to confront the cuck. I ran past the baby Grinch, avoiding his eyes, whose black void-like holes made me just want to die. When what to my wandering eyes did appear, then Ron Howard, who released Hillbilly Elegy this year. With a mop of red hair and his old eyes of blue, it was all I could do to not come some Grinch goo. Good evening, he said, walking in like a flash. My name is Ron Howard, director of Splash. I hear your baby Grinch. There's only just one. It's fucking mine, Stinky. You kidnapped my son. I picked up a knife and I whispered with malice, get your own fucking son, Ron, or just call Bryce Dallas. Ron Howard ran toward baby Grinch, who was screaming before I could compliment angels and demons. I tore after Ron to get my little green boy, afraid he'd see Ron and burst into joy. Ron Howard held baby Grinch, looked at him, kissed his brows and said, my God, Grinch, you look like you did in 2000. Oh, fuck, I remembered, my eyes growing starry. Ron Howard directed Grinch starring Jim Carrey. I inched toward my boy, hands growing antsy. Ron, I loved your casting of Christine Baranski. But that's not your son. I adopted him from an Etsy store from someone who I think was depressed. Ron laughed, looked at the baby, and then back to me. Well, Jamie, that Etsy store belonged to me. Inferno was bullshit, Solo was a bust, and Hillbilly Elegy turned my life to dust. This Grinch is my life's work. I sold him too young. Please give him back before I die of black lung. I grimaced. I can't give baby Grinch to your ilk. He needs my hot, thick, green, curdled titty milk. Ron regarded my tits, misshapen and gray, and said, Grinch don't need milk and tits don't look that way. I looked at the baby, his eyes full of glee. It was very clear he wanted Ron Howard, not me. I went to the baby and gave him a kiss so kind. Then I gave a long Christmas hug to the director of A Beautiful Mind. He smiled and gave me a look so long and so stark and said, please support my daughter by seeing new Jurassic Park. Then Grinch in his arms, Ron put the lime scooter in drive mode and said, Merry Christmas to you. Check out the Da Vinci Code. Ron and Grinch disappeared. So I hauled in my ass to check out Ron Howard's epic master class. Okay, go to sleep. <laughs>